What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we are checking out 14 tips for an awesome trip to Amsterdam. So many of you might be planning to like travel to Amsterdam maybe the next year and the following years in the future. So it would be awesome to check this video out because I'm also thinking to traveling to Amsterdam like probably next year sometime. So yeah, it would be interesting for me as well. So yeah, let's check it out guys. Let's see what we actually have here today. If you're new to the channel here, we do reactions on like just Netherlands stuff, maybe some USA stuff in general, like different things here and there. So if you're into that guys, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, check out our Discord, link will be below in the description. Check out our Patreon where we have exclusive content as well. And yeah, let's get on with the video, see what we got guys. Let's get it. Amsterdam. Oh yeah. City of canals, city of contradictions. Famous for being the drug and sex capital of Europe, its many waterways offer so much more than that. Oh, bro. Ah, just look at that view right there, bro. Like, I really love this sort of views, bro. The canal in the middle, buildings left, right. Just beautiful. Wild and energetic, yet peaceful and historical. A tourist hotspot without losing that local feel. As beautiful as Venice, but cooler somehow. I brought my best friend Chris along with me to get weird, party, explore the many sights, and figure out why this little city is so damn wonderful. So grab a joint, or don't, <laughs> and let me show you one of my favorite cities in the world. Favorite cities in the world, just imagine bro. Amsterdam, here we come. No balloon? What the fuck does that mean, no balloon? I don't get that, bro. I don't get that. Let's start with an easy one. Tip number one. Getting to the city from the airport is incredibly simple. Just take the train from the airport to Amsterdam Central Station in the northern part of the city center, and you're there. The city is so small. That is simple. Arrive at the airport, just get a train, then you're at Amsterdam City. Okay, wow. Well, if you're staying in central Amsterdam, you can pretty much just walk from the station to your hotel or hostel. Unless you're staying outside the city center or you're schlepping a ton of luggage. Oh, yeah, I love that those are not working right now. Uh, in which case, you can take the metro or a tram. And speaking of hostels, let me just say right off the bat, this city is f***ing expensive. So if you're on a budget, a hostel might be your only option. However, don't fret. Amsterdam has great hostels. My favorite is Coco Mama. Super relaxed, friendly, helpful staff, the great community without that douchey party hostel feel. And they also have nightly group activities. This is easily one of my favorite hostels in Europe. Okay. Tip number two, prepare for inclement weather. Amsterdam is the San Francisco of Europe. No matter what time of year, you look at the weather and you think, oh, it's going to be great, but somehow it will surprise you. It will rain or be windy at least one of the days you were there, so just plan on that. Man, the weather is not cooperating. The weather is frightful. <laughs> we joke that Amsterdam's new slogan should be Amsterdam, the city where umbrellas go to die. Tip number three, aside from walking, the best way to get around Amsterdam is to ride a bike. Oh, yeah. Seeing this city from a bike is wonderful. It's also an incredibly bike-friendly city. There are designated bike lanes everywhere and even bike-specific traffic lights. My favorite bike rental place is called Donkey Republic. They have shops all over Europe and their system is super simple and very convenient. Just download the app, find a bike, rent it. Donkey Republic. That is an interesting name, honestly. Whoever came up with that, bro, come on and then you can unlock it and lock it right from your phone. Wow. It's incredibly intuitive and the company is great. Cannot recommend them enough. If you're traveling with a friend and want to have some fun, make sure to grab a tandem bike. Okay, just make sure you bring your bike back looking like this and not like this. Okay. Especially if that friend has no idea what he or she is doing because it is hilarious. Hey, no, you're leaving the wrong <laughs> way, dude. Oh!
Plus, everyone just looks plain adorable on a tandem bike. Yeah, buddy! Bicycle built for two! <laughs> oh, yeah. Come on. Look at how cute we are. Tip number four, explore the red light district. All right, let's just get this one out of the way. Yes, the red light district is home to the many prostitutes in Amsterdam, and if you're into that kind of thing, there is no shortage of sexy time opportunities. That being said, the red light district is one of the oldest and most historic little sections of Amsterdam. Wander around and take in all it has to offer. Helpful tip, do not try and film the prostitutes in their windows. They do not appreciate it. I've heard they actually have cups of pee on hand to throw at tourists who try and take pictures. What? Wow, bro. So do not take photos, man. Seriously, look it up. That was my favorite shirt. <laughs> Tip number five, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I travel on my stomach. My obsession for food knows no bounds. That being said, and I may catch some shit from my Dutch friends for saying this, Amsterdam isn't exactly the culinary apex of Europe. However, there are some gems to be found. Not the least of which is one of the single greatest pieces of anything I have ever shoveled into my mouth. The Dutch pancake. If you eat nowhere else in Amsterdam, you must, I repeat, must eat at the pancake the pancake bakery. I'll keep that in mind, bro. Bakery in the Eurodon. The pancakes here are a f***ing revelation. Thin, perfectly textured. My favorite is the apple bacon, but they're all great. Try a savory wow. one like mushroom and cheese if you're not in the sweets. To top off the pancakes, you have a magical concoction that I can only assume is made from molasses and unicorn tears. <laughs> Strup. This sh right. will change. Never heard of Strip before. Change your world. Also, Bastion, the owner of the place, is one of the nicest people I've met in my travels. You've ruined other pancakes for me. From now on, I'm only going to be able to come <laughs> here. <laughs> Sorry. So thank you for that. I appreciate <laughs> it. Thanks, man. <laughs> Thanks for everything. Pleasure, pleasure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next up on my list are two of my favorite cafes in the city. The Pantry is a charming little restaurant serving up delicious and simple traditional Dutch fare. Make sure to try the Hutspot, Burenkool, and Zurkenstam. I like Good. But nailed that pronunciation. It's basically sausage or a meatball served with three different kinds of flavored mashed potatoes, from sauerkraut to kale and bacon to stewed beef with carrots, all okay. of which are unique and stupid delicious. Cafe de Clos has some ribs that are damn tasty. And finally, Amsterdam is home to some of the best Indonesian food I've had outside of Indonesia. The reason for this is because Indonesia was actually colonized by the Dutch. My favorite Indonesian place is Sampurna. They offer affordable tasting menus to share with friends. Wow. Everything I've had here has been nothing short of sensational. Also, raw herring may not sound all that appealing. Bro, just looking at all this food is making me even more hungry. This is not going to end well but for me. But it's a staple of the region. There are stands everywhere and it is surprisingly delicious. That is some good shit. Tip number six, visit a coffee shop, Amsterdam's euphemism for weed cafe, and partake in one of the city's most famous recreational activities, cannabis. cannabis. Now, I have to admit, I don't personally partake in the flower, but I'd be remiss not to at least recommend some places. So I asked some local friends and they told me about two terrific little shops, Katsu Coffee Shop, and my personal favorite, Galleria Coffee Shop Yo-Yo. A super vibey place to sit down, chill, get some work done, hang out with friends, and of course, smoke a doobie. I have to admit, Amsterdam's cannabis culture is pretty damn cool. Tip number- So I mean, they just say, sit in a cafe and smoke it. That is very, I don't know, I don't find that normal. I mean, it's kind of weird for me. But I guess for people that actually live in the Netherlands, it's like a general thing they do, you know? So, interesting. For seven, explore some of Amsterdam's most charming neighborhoods. First up is the Jordaan. Gorgeous old crooked buildings line quiet, beautiful canals full of charming cafes, quiet streets, and quaint little alleys. Ride your bike around or just stroll the streets and take it like all Like these in. coffee shops, bro. Another of my favorite Down by the canal. slightly outside the tourist Amazing. center of the city called The Pipe. A nice mix of expats and locals. This is where I would want to live if I moved here. Hang okay. out in Sarfetti Park. Get some of the best brunch in the city at Little Collins. Oh. And don't miss the Albert Kuyp Street Market. Known for being the largest open-air market in Europe, it's flippin' huge. Wow. 
Wow. While at the market, buy some t-shirts or some crafts, sample some delectable Dutch sweets like Stroopwafels, or just marvel at the creepiest collection of severed mannequin heads ever assembled. Hmm. Tip number eight, explore Vonda Park. And if the weather's nice, have a picnic, take a nap on the grass, ride your bike, dance around like an idiot, whatever floats your boat. There's even an original Picasso sculpture you can wow, check out just fun. hanging out in the park. Simply named The Fish, if I'm not mistaken, I believe he designed the piece to represent the devil eating a Dutch pancake. But it, it's a Picasso, so okay. it's kind of hard to tell. Okay. It could just be a fish. Note, remember what I said about the inclement weather. Hmm. Tip number nine, visit the Anne Frank house. Now, out of respect, I didn't film anything inside, but suffice it to say, this is one of the most fascinating, sobering, and haunting museum experiences anywhere haunting. in the world. Haunting, okay. The only problem is it can get very busy and the lines can be a bit untenable. Oh, hate lines, bro. Hate lines. So I recommend booking your spot ahead online for a specific time. It takes a little more planning, but that way you get to skip the massive line. Excuse Tip number me. 10, since there's no real good transition from Anne Frank, I'm just gonna go in the complete opposite direction and say eat a space cake and visit the Van Gogh Museum. Space now, for the Van Gogh Museum, the space cake part of this equation isn't necessary, but it won't hurt. The most famous place to get a space cake is probably the Bulldog. Okay. They have instructions on them. So what Put are this these? in your mouth. <laughs> for first timers, if you've never eaten one, start with half. The guy in the shop said, whatever you do, oh, don't okay. eat the whole thing. Oh yeah, he did say eat some of it and see how you feel. <laughs> Whoops. All right, let's go see some art. Wow. I'm currently in the self-portrait section. And it's just a wall full of self-portraits by Van Gogh. These were the first selfies. But these selfies took like months Famous to make here. back in the day. It was, it was a, that was a commitment. You committed to that selfie. Van Gogh said, a true peasant painting should smell like bacon, smoke, and potatoes. I know that because there was a plaque next to the painting that said, Van Gogh said, a true peasant painting should smell like bacon, smoke, and potatoes. Mm. Chris is wasted. <laughs> you can't even handle it. <laughs> Tip number 11. Wow. If you're looking for nightlife, head to Rembrandt Square and hit up some of Amsterdam's most hoppin' nightclubs. And yes, apparently I still use the word hoppin' because I'm 34 and completely out of touch with what's cool today. For example, Chris and I thought it would be cool to walk around in wooden clogs all day. Mm. Turns out we were wrong. You just hurt. Yeah, gotta be like a different sure. way to walk. There is. It's called painfully. People are laughing at us. I think they're laughing with us. <laughs> no, it's, no, it's, it's at us. <laughs> In addition to nightclubs, make wow. sure to hit up some of Amsterdam's cool pubs and smaller bars. Two great options are Duavel, famous for being the first hip hop bar in Amsterdam, mm. and nice Snap. Restaurant by day, Mappers. awesome cocktail bar by night. Okay. All right. Tip Snappers. number 12, hop on a boat and take a ride in the canals. This oh, is this one of is the for sure, like, this is the thing you must do, bro, honestly. Best ways to see the city. You Amsterdam has 165 canals, each one more ridiculously delightful than the next. <laughs> as far as which boat to take, there are many options from hop on, hop off hop tours, on, hop to fancy off. dinner boats, to private boats, but my favorite is to take a little open boat. I had a great experience with Stroma. Beautiful tour, relaxed vibe, and I actually learned some stuff. Bring a beer, relax, and sit back as you watch the city float by. Tip number 13, if you have more than a couple of days, take a day trip outside the city to see some windmills and a castle. There are tour buses that take you to see some of the Netherlands countryside, including okay, some beautiful wow. tulips. But the I'm not really tulips, a fan bro. of organized tours, so we just rented a car so we could be on our own time. Chris and I went to the beautiful Zanseschans and Castile de Har. Medieval times eat your heart out. <laughs> on this episode of Cribs, we're taking a look inside Castillo wow, look at that, bro. Just look just at famous that. famous for its pointy castle thingies. Yes. Lastly, feel free to ignore everything I've said here. Don't make a plan and just wander the city. With all that Amsterdam has to offer, my favorite thing to do here will always be to simply walk around or hop on a bike and take yeah, in its bro. beauty. Of Every course. corner of this town offers some unique vista, some piece of history, and maybe a prostitute or 50. Do yourself a favor and take a moment to simply get lost within its beautiful canals. I promise you won't regret it. Also, take some time to hang out with the locals. The Dutch people are laid back, open-minded, 
fun-loving, and just plain awesome. And seriously, you better eat that f***ing pancake. <laughs> eat that pancake, guys. <laughs> wow. I mean, honestly, that video was truly amazing. Really enjoyed it. Wow, guys, let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below. If you enjoyed, hope you did. Like this, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Check out our Discord, guys, link below. Check out Patreon for exclusive content. And we'll see you on the next video. Peace out.